Actually, let me see if anyone has responded to that because I hope not. Oh, sh Marlena responded. Oh, yikes. I was not expecting her to respond. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. It looks like I'm nursing. I'm not. I don't do that. Good for you if you can, but not in this household. So, hello, just a lady bulldog camera, too many opinions. Today, we have something that I'm very disappointed about that we need to talk about. It just came to my attention last night. I'm not happy about it. So, you know what? If I'm not happy about something, you bet your tush you're going to learn about it. You might hear little squeaks. If someone is very tired, supposed to be taking a nap right now. That's not working out. And then someone else surely is taking a nap and snoring very loud on the ground. So to all my headphone listeners, you're welcome. You get Wiggum snores. So if you have been on YouTube for really any amount of time, but especially in the makeup genre, you most likely know about Makeup Geek Cosmetics and Marlena Stell. Marlena Stell is or was rather, the founder of Makeup Geek Cosmetics. She started her YouTube channel in about 2008. She's an OG when it comes to, to beauty YouTube. Absolutely no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, in 2011, Marlena created Makeup Geek Cosmetics, and they truly were an amazing company. They had great products. They were great quality. I personally loved them. Their eyeshadows were absolutely bomb. And unfortunately, due to the pandemic, Makeup Geek Cosmetics was one of the companies that went under. So currently on their website, they still do have some products for sale. Most of them are sold out and they're selling single eyeshadows for like a dollar, which they're, I mean, they're really great. So feel free to get them. And it is manufactured, created in the US, all that. And they even had a deal with Target where they were sold, like certain products were sold in Target for a while. That's how I got them. I really liked them a lot. I've used them a, a good bit here on my channel. I really liked them. I was sad that they weren't in Target anymore. Marlena Stell is also someone who has been on podcasts and in articles and on social media in general, really just being, you know, an advocate, but then also exposing a good amount of the unethical, you know, behind the scenes shenanigans that have happened over the last few years in the YouTube space, if you will. Recently, she came out about really in detail on the Sesh podcast, Kendall Ray's podcast. I'll have a link down below. And she goes over in detail, like her relationship with Jaclyn Hill and really just alleges that Jaclyn Hill like absolutely screwed her over, which sucks and it's not good. I am sorry, he's teething and <laughs> being such a gremlin. So unfortunately in 2022, Marlena had to close down Makeup Geek. And according to an interview that she did, she did a lot of them, but according to this one interview she did, it said having almost an entire year of not having product, obviously, was financially devastating. The fact that we've stayed open even this long after all of that says a lot about my team and all of you out there for your support. But it's just honestly, you guys, after all that, it's too hard to come back from that. It's just hard to have new products coming out, obviously, to keep things going. And just the timeline now is so much slower with shortages of raw materials, cardboard, so much going on behind the scenes that it's difficult for everyone. At its high point, Makeup Geek had annual sales in excess of $22 million in 2019, the brand had more than 300 stock keeping units in its assortment and entered some 600 Target stores. Marlena continued and said, it's not a decision I was expecting to make this year. However, I do know in my soul that Makeup Geek wasn't meant to be the ultimate destination for me when I started this company. I was 28 and I'm 42 now. I'm at a different stage in my life and there's other ventures and things I would like to do. And that's sad obviously. But, you know, great for her for being positive and, you know, going on to different things and just really being positive about it. I would have been real girl sad. I'm sure she was, but she had been working on a rebranding for quite some time and she had been pretty open about it, you know, sharing photos from photo shoots that she was doing for it. And then also like her logo, she was posting that on Twitter or X, if you will. And just sharing a lot about it, about like, kind of like the behind the scenes or, you know, something's coming, I want to do this and, you know, get back to education. And it's more than just, you know, tutorials. And it was pretty clear she was going to be offering like a master class type course thing. Well, she released it. And as you can tell, if I'm talking about it on my channel, that's not good. <laughs> not good at all. So let me get this out of the way. I'm not a hater. I mean, I do hate this. So I guess I am a hater, but this is not, you know, me just being 
a bully, a mean girl, whatever. This is me seeing something, being extremely disappointed and a little bit upset, but mainly disappointed in her in regards to this certain aspect of the business. Now, again, let's get this out of the way too. This is through and through a multi-level marketing company. And you can say all day that it's not, but if you argue with that fact and you're arguing with facts, it's not a difference of opinion. It is a difference of reality. And if you're arguing reality, guess what that means? You're delusional. And if that makes me a bit, I guess I'm just the baddest, okay? So with direct sales, let's give a little education for anyone who's new here and maybe someone who needs a recap. It's always good to give a little bit of a recap. So under the umbrella of direct sales, there is single level marketing and then there's multi-level marketing. Single level marketing, could also these days be referred to as affiliate marketing, where you are getting commission for selling a product from a company, right? So for instance, I can share these lashes that I always forget what they're called, so I always have to say it so that I can link the right ones. So it's the Kiss Bear Affair lashes, and then the lipstick that I always wear, I'm not wearing it right now, is the Superstay Matte Ink Maybelline lipstick in the shade Seductress. I can link those below, those are affiliate links. I do make a commission off those, always gotta be FTC compliant. You could consider that single level marketing. It's not really though, but it's more so affiliate marketing. So I'm making a commission off of that, right? Me just making a commission off of a sale of something. I'm not really selling it, just promoting it. Again, that's kind of the difference between affiliate marketing and single level marketing and sales in general. And then there is multi-level marketing where you are making a commission off of not only the sale of a product, but then you are also making commission off of recruiting or signing up others to do the same thing that you're doing. And then also making a commission off of that and their sales or the work that they do and so on and so forth. It keeps going until you recruit all the people in the world and then it's only like 14 layers down if everyone recruits five people. Listen, listen, are you new here? Come on, y'all know this, you get it. If you are new and you don't know about multi-level marketing, you're not very well versed in the cultiness of it all, the scam of it all, I will go ahead and link down below some amazing resources And then also one of my favorite videos I've ever done, a interview that I did with the cult expert himself, the leading cult expert in the US, Dr. Stephen Hassan, and then some other like more general surface level videos. And you can just fall down the rabbit hole from there. I mean, you're welcome, really. It's it's a fun rabbit hole to fall down. I've been in it for years. I can't get out. So like I said, if we look at the Makeup Geek website, we can see that there are eyeshadows and products on sale, sold out. The ones that are on sale are for like a dollar or something, which again is crazy and the products are great. So feel free to like get your hands on some of those. But then there are like mystery boxes. She has them separated into like light, medium and dark skin tones, I guess, which is a good idea. So I mean, if you like are getting products, you can potentially actually use. And of course, that's probably just a way for her to sell off like the rest of what she has, just like putting everything on sale. But then if you go over to the education aspect of it and the Makeup Geek Academy part of the website, this is where it's just, there's just so many red flags and the verbiage that's being used is, girl, there's so many red flags, it's looking like communist China up in there. It is pretty wild. So on this first page, it says, become a Makeup Geek Academy partner, Appy today. Appy? Is this Grey's Anatomy? Or are we performing a, an Appy? What's happening? It's quick and easy. Discover why becoming a Makeup Geek Academy partner is one of the fastest and easiest ways to generate massive profits. I hate it. Thank you. Here are a few reasons why becoming a Makeup Geek Academy partner is one of the most profitable business decisions you could ever make. Marlena, I got a question. What are you doing? No, it's one few reasons why becoming it is most profitable business decisions. Who wrote this, Marlena? Was it you? Because you're grounded, absolutely not. And then also you just opened it. How, how can you even say that? Like that's not, that's not okay. Not okay at all. So let's go over some of these points. Again, a lot of red flags. I would grab my red flag, but it's out of, it's out of reach and I have this thing. Also real quickly, because I know this video might have like new viewers come in. If you're uncomfortable with me holding my baby while I'm working, this is my full-time job. Please leave, please get over it. I would say, I'm sorry that that makes you uncomfortable, but I'm not because I hate the phrase working mom. I'm not a working mom, I'm a mom which is crazy, right? It's not me exploding my child. This is me doing what I absolutely can do <laughs> and just hanging on by a thread. Ugh. Someone asked me the other day, they're like, oh my God, are you on cloud nine? I'm like, I'm on Zoloft. Like, 
I'm on postpartum. Love this little gremlin so much. Light of my life, best thing I've ever done. This is not me creating mom content. This is me doing what I can because our country sucks. <laughs> I love it, but it's insane. Anyways, also my husband works 12 hour shifts. Usually I batch film while he's here so that, you know, he can be primary parent on those days. Be serious, I'm still primary parent because I'm a psycho, but also, I wanted to get this video out. I didn't want to have to wait until Sunday or Monday to film it, you know? So yay, turnaround time, dedication, girl boss. Girl, bo girl bossing too close to the sun. Am I right, buddy? Oh my God, you're so tired. Okay, <sighs> sorry. Continuing, I just always want to give like those disclaimers because I got a comment the other day that was like, put your kid on a cot like a normal person. It's unsettling or like it's a turnoff that you're like holding your baby. And I was like, listen, grandpa, shut up. Like how misogynistic is that? Babies exist, vaginas exist, and babies come out of them, so, or out of your uterus, whatever. What is this, science class? All right, continuing, sorry if this is your first time, I'm unhinged. So this point says, you earn 10% per sale. So, single level marketing. Wouldn't be that horrible, right? Our products range from $75 up to 3,000. So you have the chance to make some huge commissions by promoting our offers. What in the Pyramid Scheme Girl Boss? Because that's the same type of stuff. If you watch my other videos, that's the same type of thing they say. Like the money girls who are saying, oh, I get paid to wash my hair. No, you don't. Also, Marlena, you're not paying people to promote products. You just said you earn 10% per sale. So they're not making money promoting the products. They're making, or the services, whatever, because it's courses. You're paying them when they make a sale, a commission, right? You benefit from our short sales cycle. The average sales cycle is three three days with the nearest possible sales starting in as little as one day. Other affiliates might not convert your prospects for weeks, but we're always refining and testing our process so you can start making sales as quickly as possible. I don't really understand what that part means. <laughs> It's giving, I'm not like other MLMs. Okay, next point says, we manage all customer service issues. Obviously, why wouldn't you? You won't have to worry about fulfillment or customer service issues. What do you mean like fulfillment? It's not a, as far as we know, it's not a tangible product. It's a service, it's a course. So what are you talking about? It makes no sense to me. Maybe there are like pamphlets or like certain educational aspects of it that are like tangible, meaning like you can touch it, you know, not like digital. Like, I don't think it, I don't think it's just solely digital, but we'll see. Our client care team is the best in the industry. Okay, and <laughs> bold statement. And we'll take care of everything so that you can focus on the most important thing for your, bi for your business. That's another red flag. Good God, it's not your business. You're a salesperson. Making as much money as possible without all the hassle. Yikes. We have an incredibly low refund rate. Is that because no one's purchased it yet? Because you you just launched it. What are you talking about? Also, weird, because, and I know they have like a 30 day money back guarantee or some something along those lines. With like digital products and stuff like that, it's kind of, it's weird because it's like, how are you gonna get a refund when it's a digital product and like you already have it, you already have access to it, like you could have copied it already, like, you know, I don't know. It's also just weird because again, we have an incredibly low refund rate. Yeah, probably because y you haven't had that many sales yet. Like, what are you talking about, girl, what? You can have your very own army, red flag, of affiliates working around the clock to bring you passive income. Y'all know I hate that word. It's not passive income if you're doing any type of work for it. For instance, a great example of this is royalties. That is how AdSense, money from Google, from YouTube, YouTubers, that's how our income from that is taxed. It's classified as royalties. That changed like two or three years ago, I think. If I stopped posting, let's say I post this video, stop posting for a year or ever, I would probably, like, yes, it would dwindle, obviously, because that's how YouTube works. That's how the algorithm works. I know James Welsh and Robert Welsh have talked about that a lot, how like, and I've talked about it too, how like it's very unsustainable and let's be honest, unattainable to become a full-time YouTuber. I'm very blessed this is my dream job. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. But the thing is, is that if I don't post or post as much, 
Great example, before having the baby, I was posting three to four videos a week, sometimes like two in one day. We would call it a double feature and it was super unhinged. But then after having the baby, I you know went on my version of maternity leave, which was, let's be honest, not enough. Yay America and yay working for yourself. But with that, I had scheduled out about two months of content and it was two videos a week. And I've kind of continued the two videos a week without doing like an actual like schedule because it's just all over the place. It's really hard to do that. And then sponsorships, you know, you have to wait for approval. Basically my point is I'm working less or posting less content, which is, you know, my moneymaker. And then if I'm posting less content, I'm doing, technically I'm doing more sponsorships now, but doing less sponsorships and having less sponsorships a month, again, technically having more sponsorships now, but I'm making less money because I'm posting less. Now, again, if I was to stop posting altogether, I I would probably, I would say I would still get maybe like, it would probably be like $4,000 next month, 3,000. It would probably go down like, and probably next year or something, it would be in like the low hundreds every month is what I'd be making from it. So still something without doing any work, that's pretty great because that in itself is passive income. I did it originally, put that up, and then I'm not doing anything now, and then I'm making money. But the thing is, is that what she's describing right now would technically be a pyramid scheme because in multi-level marketing companies, what really sets them apart according to the FTC which the FTC themselves know that there basically is no difference between an MLM and a pyramid scheme, is that multi-level marketing companies have a sales requirement per month. They have a personal sales volume goal metric that you have to meet. And then also typically a group volume metric or goal that you have to meet too. So personal sales and group sales, that's what sets you apart from being a legit pyramid scheme. But this is red flaggy to me, obviously, because it's saying the way it's phrased is like, you can recruit all these people under you to do all the work. And then you're like not really having to do anything because it's passive income. So you're just sitting back and having an army of of affiliates, not recruits, same thing, go ahead and do all that work for you while you just sit back and stand on your throne at the top of the pyramid. The more I think about this, like the more I am truly disappointed in her. And again, I can say all day long, or we can say all day long, like, oh, maybe she doesn't know. If you're a content creator and then also you're on the makeup side, you like you, if you work in the online space, as long as she has, you know that multi-level marketing companies and all that, you know how unethical it is. Like you can, you're not blind to that. Like, come on. Especially with the like, with how much like I'm pretty positive that she like has, is like interested in like the cultiness and like the, not like liking it, but you know, the the true crimey, like culty type of content. I'm pretty, sh- I'm pretty sure I remember her talking about it and saying that like she liked it and stuff. So like she has to know. <sighs> I hate it. Okay. You'll find everything you ever need to make sales in our partner portal. Okay. So they have a back office. We are constantly adding new assets to help your promotions convert. And we are always working to keep our conversion rates as high as possible by creating and testing new new copy, new copies, what? You'll have all the easy to use resources you need to promote our programs at your fingertips. So wonderful. You're not having to make up all these things yourself, which people probably would be doing anyways. You can track your stats, clicks, sales commissions, ledgers, and more inside our partner portal. I would hope that you would be able to do that in a back office. Where is the bar? It's in hell, I guess. We hire some of the world's best copywriters to push our conversions as high as possible for our partners. You can rest assured knowing that your email copy, banners, social media posts, blog articles were written to convert and make you a ton of sales. You can access all the copy you need to be successful inside our partner portal. (sighs) I hate it so much. Okay, so let's go over the products or the courses, if you will. So there are four courses and it's the touch up, the glow up, total transformation and the certification. So the mastering the basics, that is, that is the touch up one. And uh, this is an example of the syllabus. You can go look at all the syllabus, syllabi, syllab- syllabuses, syllabuses for all of the other ones on the website if you want. I only am showing this one because this is already too long. <laughs> Basically just educational. I think that's wonderful. That's great. That's so, so great. 
Education is important. Love that. So the Touch Up Masterclass, Mastering the Basics Fundamentals for Beginner Level Makeup Application. Artistry Unleashed, Crafting Your Professional Toolkit for Masterful Techniques. Keep in mind, you're not like getting any products with any of this. It's just like you learning. It's all about the base, mastering skin prep and color correction for an immaculate base. Four lessons, five lessons, five lessons, five lessons, lifetime access to the Makeup Geek Academy private community. What a group chat, like yikes. 590 in bonuses, four corresponding makeup manuals, free subscription to House of Something. Bonus number one, face shape cheat sheet. Bonus number two, confidentiality custom mini lookbook. 20 plus makeup looks for every day. I'm really not trying to be a negative Nancy, but it seems like all the stuff you can find on the internet for free and you don't need to pay $299 to do that. And then the next one's the Glow Up Masterclass, Beyond Basics, Intermediate, basically, Masterclass. Three payments of $349. So I don't understand why it's that much or why it's three payments of. I mean, I, I get like in writing, it's to make it look cheaper because if you do three payments, I can't do math. So let's, oh God, my calculator is having a mind of its own. Three payments, so that's $1,047. But then if you pay in full, it's $150 off. So that's nine, that's $897. It just, uh, I'll give more of my thoughts at the end. The Total Transformation Masterclass, Mastering Artistry, Unleash Your Creative and Advanced Makeup Masterclasses. And obviously with each like, with each course, like the further you go, you get like everything from like all of the past ones too, just like every type of membership. And that one is three payments of $599 almost $1,800, but then if you pay in full, you save $300, so then that's almost $1,500. And then the certification masterclass, you get everything that was in the three previous ones. I mean, that's a lot of information. That's a lot of like lessons and classes and education and all that, and that's wonderful. However, one thing that I find really interesting is the certification. It says MGA Certification of Completion. What's MGA stand for? Is that like, you're licensed? No. MGA is Makeup Geek Academy. I'm not trying to be rude in saying that that holds no value and doesn't mean that you're licensed. That doesn't mean, <laughs> like you're still gonna need to get licensed typically, you right? You need to have a, a you know cosmetology license of whatever. It depends on like your state and your country, wherever you are. But so three payments of $1,199 is, good God, almost $3,600. But then you save $600 by paying in full. So then that would be around $3,000. That's a lot of money. And I'm not trying to be like, and for what? Because I've talked about it before. And with a lot of these classes and courses and, you know, the master resale rights and different types of courses that people sell online, I've always said like you can find typically almost all of that information for free on the internet. But the thing is you have to go find it, right? And you got to check these credible sources and all that. So if something is priced reasonably and the person who is selling it actually is like a master of their craft, an expert of their craft, which, hey, I would say Merlina is absolutely for sure. Especially when it comes to like the business side too. I'd say she's pretty well versed in that. And then also with makeup artistry and, you know, techniques and education and all that. Absolutely. But my problem is with this whole thing, not only how expensive it is, but then also the red flags, the verbiage, the way, you know, the certification is phrased. It's like, what can you actually do with that? Like, does that actually matter? But then also the MLM aspect of it. And like I said, all those red flags and the verbiage of, you know, girl boss, gatekeep, gaslight, all that. So she did a video on her YouTube channel, which is just her self-named YouTube channel. She has 1.2 million subscribers. This video that she posted as of, I'm filming December 1st, she posted two days ago and it says the future of Makeup Geek, a new era where she was announcing this and it has 45,000 views already, almost 400 comments, which I'd say, hey, for two days, that's pretty, that's pretty dang good. I commented on it after, you know, doing this research on all of this and finding out about this and I commented on it and I'm sure there's going to be people who, you know, don't like what I said, but I stand by it. I said what I said. Let's just read my comment together. I didn't even proofread it, so I might have to go back and edit it so I make sure I don't sound like an idiot. <laughs> 
I said, after looking into this more, I'm realizing you've started a multi-level marketing company. This is so disappointing. As someone who has been a content creator and a business owner for so long, Marlena, I assume you know how unethical and dangerous multi-level marketing companies are as a whole. Before anyone says I'm a hater, can you tell I'm used to getting told I'm a hater? I've loved Makeup Geek products for a long time and I've admired Marlena even longer as a business owner and as an OG in our industry, our industry meaning YouTube. This is a MLM. You're able to sign up as an affiliate and then also have others sign up under you and make money off of their sales slash work and your own. Cut and dry, that's an MLM. It is. That's a fact. Network marketing, direct sales, social selling, multi-level marketing, whatever you call it, it's all the same. Unethical business practices that are recruitment-based foster a community of manipulation, love bombing, misinformation, and I should have said other cult tactics, but cult tactics, all for an average profit of $0 industry-wide per the FTC. I thought that was very concise and for not proofreading, that was pretty well written. Also, if y'all don't have Grammarly, you should definitely get it. It's making me sound super smart. So she said, hey, Cece. I was not expecting her to respond. Holy shit. Yikes. Okay. We have actually launched an online school slash academy. This is not an MLM and will never be an MLM. I think you may be mistaking affiliate marketing with an affiliate program. I'm not. For influencers that want to promote our academy, we have an incentive in place for them as well as anyone they connect us with. This is a referral program we have in place for influencers and brands that want to promote our school. I do like that she's calling it like a school. That does make it sound more professional. You are more than welcome to check out behind the scenes to better understand what we're providing and how our business is structured. I'm happy to jump on Zoom and show you what we've created. For our clients that want to sign up for Academy, they can do so without having to be tied to another member or hooked into someone's downline. Oh, she does know what an MLM is, which would make it an MLM. Makeup Geek Academy is an online school and we have an ambassador referral affiliate program for anyone that would want to share our offerings with others. I hope this clarifies and I'm happy to jump on a call to share more details. That was a very good response, very professional. I, I liked that a lot. And you know what? I'm going to take her up on that. I w I'm still going to post this video, obviously, because I've been sitting here for a while filming it. And I feel like it's important. So plot twist, how the turntables. Yeah, I would absolutely love to, to talk to her. So Marlena, my girl, if you see this, absolutely please contact me. I mean, I guess I should probably email her. But yeah, I would love to talk to her to talk about it and go over like the differences uh, and like the the like red flaggy. And obviously, like I, she's not she's not like asking my opinion about it or anything. But maybe I can talk to her about kind of like the red the red flaggy, like girl bossy, tropey verbiage that is on the website. I think that could be beneficial. What an what an evolution. Love that. Not culty, not annoying. I did not think that she would be anyways, because I mean, like I said, I've always respected the shit out of her. I think that she's an outstanding woman. And that's why right when I saw this, I was like, you gotta be effing kidding me. Like, I'm so upset. I'm so disappointed. So to be able to clarify that and go over that with her and hopefully not having a bulldog snoring so loudly in the background of that, he just, he doesn't care. He absolutely does not care. I, I think that's wonderful. So we will see. And I'd be more than happy to talk to her about it. And I think I'm the right person for that job. There are two more things that I wanted to go over though, because on the like fine print that I saw, there is an earnings disclaimer, release of claims. Not that they're like super scammy or anything like that. I just wanted to touch on these two. And this is on like the fine print, the terms and service, all that on the page. And it says release of claims in no event will we be liable to any party for any type of direct, indirect, special, incidental, equitable, or consequential damages, so many words, for any use of or reliance on our website and its content or on those affiliated with us in any way, and you hereby release us from any and all claims, including without limitation, <laughs> those related to lost profits, personal or business interruptions, personal injuries, incidents, misapplication of information, or any other loss, physical or mental <laughs> disease condition or issue, or otherwise, even if we are expressly advised of the possibility of such damages or difficulties. I just, I mean, I thought that was funny. So that's pretty normal to have on a, a like on a company's website just to you know save your own butt having those types of things because 
you know, anyways, earnings disclaimer, you acknowledge that we have not and do not make any representation as to the health, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, or health benefits, future income, expenses, sales volume, or potential profitability or loss of any kinds that may be derived as a result of your use of this website or its content. We cannot and do not guarantee that you will attain a particular result, positive or negative, financial or otherwise, through the use of our website or its content and you accept and understand that results differ for each individual. We also expressly disclaim responsibility in any way for the choices, actions, results, use, misuse, or non-use of the information provided or obtained through the use of our website and its content. You agree that your results are strictly your own and we are not liable or responsible for any way you work results. So yeah, I, since it was an earnings disclaimer, I wanted to read that off as well. Of course, saving their own butt, all that. I, again, just do think it's interesting how, and of course they, they're, they are using, you know, protective language of like, this, you know, can be an easy way for you to make, you know, a lot of profit or blah, blah, blah. And so I just find that interesting. Again, it's just, you know, the the verbiage, the, the girl boss of it all, the MLM speak. Yeah. So again, all of this is just my own opinion. Keep that in mind. This is the type of content that I make, you know, anti-scam content. I admire Marlena a lot. And so I was disappointed. And when I get that feeling that, you know, I don't want to say like emotional feeling, but I get that feeling. I'm like, I have to make a video about it, right? This is my job. This is what I do. Yeah. So on my own opinion, don't send hate to her. Don't do anything like that. I absolutely love the fact that she's open to talking and discussing it further and, you know, going over the differences and stuff. And if we do that, especially with like my scheduling with this thing and, you know, just buying a new house and moving into it over the next month and holidays and stuff. I'm sure it wouldn't happen super soon if we were to do that, but be on the lookout for that because I absolutely, yes, would be making, you know, a follow-up video because I don't want to just put this one out and like give my opinion that I do think that this would be categorized as a multi-level marketing company or multi-level marketing instead of just single level marketing or multi-level marketing instead of technically just like an affiliate program, which sure you're not, you know, tied to someone's downline, like she said, when it's paired with that type of speech, it, again, my red flags are going off. And like the the types of like income claims and, and stuff like that too. Again, I do think that taking, you know, those courses and stuff could be very beneficial. She's very, very educated. I mean, I was about to say a titan of industry. Calm down, Chelsea. Very educated, very well-versed in all of this business side and education side, ingredients, the science of it all, all that. Like, and she's been doing it for, good God, like what? I was about to say 20 years. <laughs> for like 15 years. So keep that in mind too. If you are okay, I'm just super cheap, right? I mean, just paying for paying for that, that would be so much money. But again, if if I was a makeup artist, and I wanted to have that benefit my, you know, my education, all that. I didn't want to like go hunting around for the information. I wanted to do it all from home. Then, okay, that could be beneficial to me. But again, that's not what I do. So I personally don't see the value if it's priced at that amount. However, again, if it was like makeup by Mario, I mean, I would say she's like almost on his level, right? I mean, she was like one of the first people to do it. I'm sure she's probably met him before. But anyways, I'm rambling at this point. I would definitely make a whole nother video about that. I don't want to just put this out there and then have, you know, people like think that it's a pyramid scheme. I'm, I'm not saying that the thumbnail might seem like it. That's the name of the game. It's YouTube. Come on. But I do just want to say that, that if we do talk, I will be making a video about that. I would absolutely love to do that and be able to further talk about it. I'm not just going to make all these assumptions, loose claims, give my opinion on something, and then new information comes out that like disproves or, you know, gives more information, sheds more light on it, more clarifications, things like that, especially if she's offering to do that. And then just like not take her up on that. That would be very hypocritical of me especially when one thing I always say on my channel, I'm like, no, prove me wrong, please. Absolutely prove me wrong. So it is update time. So I filmed the majority, really all of this video on Friday. And then today is Monday and I really want to get it out. But obviously there's been a lot that's happened over the weekend. So first and foremost, Marlena was, in my opinion, I do think that she was um, really pushing back a lot regarding people saying that it's an MLM. And she was like, I don't know where you're getting this from. And it's like, girl, from your own website. Like, what are you talking about? Where are you getting this from? I did see a lot of feedback as well from my comment on her post saying that like, you're gaslighting Chelsea. I don't necessarily think she was gaslighting me. Doubt that she knows 
knows who I am <laughs> and then like what type of content I make. But after like rereading it and going over more things, I did think it was funny to like, like tell me that I'm confused <laughs> about what an MLM is when it's like cut and dry, babe, that's what that is. So um, I will say that looking over everything, just again, it does look, I'm pretty sure I said this in the first part of the video, but it does look like it is or was going to be multiple tiers of like multi-tiered commission which yes, that would be an MLM. And then since it is like a course, like kind of mixed with the like master resale rights type of thing, right? Regarding the page that we were going off of, she said that that was never supposed to like see the light of day. That was like a dummy site. And it's just interesting because it's like, well, then how did like, how did people get it? And she also said that like, you couldn't get to that site from the normal site. I don't remember how I got to it. Like I know someone emailed it to me, but I'm pretty sure that I could also get to it from the normal site. I don't know, seems weird. Another thing that I do think is interesting is that she was saying that she's working with the same team that has done like online courses and stuff for Tony Robbins and like his brand. Personally, I think he's a scammer, but then also, and just like the whole like self-help, the majority of it is complete BS and just a grift. But with that, she was saying that she was using the same team that has helped him. And she went on to explain that the only reason she said that is because she wanted people to understand like the caliber of you know, the team she's working with and like what's going on behind the scenes, which sure that does show like, wow, that's kind of impressive. Like that's a big name. Um, but then also people were noticing that the dummy site, as she called it, the affiliates page that all of us saw with the weird wording, it was directly copy and pasted with like a few words changed to make it, you know, apply to their website and their product and service that they're selling. It was directly copy and pasted from another company, which is an MLM called Neurogem, I believe it's called. And you would think, Oh, it must be like a gym. It is uh, very like Scientology-esque, very woo-woo, complete BS in my opinion, and just like not good at all. And just gross. The CEO of that company is gross. Like I said, it's very Scientology-like and a scam in my opinion, which is another topic for another video. So after quite a lot of feedback and I guess realizing that people got a hold of this other page, then she was kind of backtracking and being like, no, it's not like kind of fighting it and saying that it's not an MLM, like that's different. And it's like, no, this is not different. So I don't know how this was presented to her, but in my opinion, yes, she does know better. However, however, she has since taken off that like second tier of commissions. So then it is truly just an affiliate program instead of the actual like second tiered MLM aspect of it. So I like that. Um, I do think that people are going to get the ick and like maybe just not even like accept her apology or explanation that's fine but I mean that's going to happen on the internet that's what happens it's okay but I don't know I just find it really interesting seeing the reaction um to what she's saying and people are like no it's fishy it's like sketchy like even that you approved that in general like we don't like that um so yeah it does just suck that it's like it's someone else like I don't know it just seemed it seemed like a lot of blame shifting in my opinion I did email her a, a today actually as of filming this, let me actually check and see if she did respond. As of filming this, she has not responded, which is fine even if she doesn't. I, I don't think that she, I don't think she'll even probably see it or, you know, whatever. But I thought it would be interesting to be able to talk to her, even though she has made multiple statements already. I just thought it'd be interesting to go ahead and do that. So we will see. And if she does want to talk, then we can, and that'll be a follow-up video. But I just wanted to go over that with you, give you all the update that she did make sure that that site was taken down and then also take off the uh, second tier of those commissions for the affiliates. So that's interesting. And let's go ahead and watch her statement right now. And she did put out a YouTube video. It was a live stream where she did talk about all of this. So let's go ahead and show that to you. So let's address, okay, so let's address the MLM thing because that's the biggest thing. First off, I owe you guys a massive apology. In no way ever was I designing to have an MLM set up for the brand, but I do understand how that has come across and how we have represented ourselves in that way. And that is not my goal at all. It never has been. So I owe you guys an apology for that. In the past 15 years, of me having Makeup Geek as a brand and me being on YouTube, I've never once had a brand that was an MLL from LMLM, that's a tongue twister format. I've never talked about brands on my channel in any YouTube video that I've done. I've never aligned myself with that model. So I would never continue that in the future. However, I know 
that this has been very coming across as an MLM model, MLM model, and that is not what I align myself with at all. I find them predatory, and I'm not just saying this to make everyone happy. I genuinely have never done that in the past, and so to do that now would not align with how I presented myself in the last several years. However, I know that there was a page that got out there that had MLM copy. It was makeageekacademy.com slash affiliates. So when we designed the website, it was all hosted on different URLs, and it was live, and that was our first mistake. None of that should have been live. It should have been a draft, and so that what I have to take ownership of. It should have never been live about that, Um, but that page, we never had hosted on our site. So if you go to the Academy site, let me pull it up here and see if I can do a screen share with you guys. That page should not have existed. The copy on that page, I never approved. I never wrote that. However, I have to take ownership as a brand owner for that being out there because being a brand owner, the buck stops with me. So no matter what happens, I can't pass blame of any of that. All I can say is that should not have been out there. And that definitely is not wording that I approved that I align with. So as soon as we realized that it got out there, we took it down. So we didn't take it down just because everyone was complaining about that. We were getting pushback on it. It was because we genuinely did not know that anyone had that page out there. We didn't even know that that was still physical because we didn't have it linked to from our site. Um, the other issue with that is we had two affiliate pages. There was one that was .com slash affiliates, .com slash affiliates with an S. There was two pages we had and we didn't know that that one with the S was the one that was getting all this traction everyone was finding. So as soon as I saw that, I asked the guys, I was like, where is this copy coming from? What happened here? And they're like, we haven't seen that at all. We're not finding this on this site. And I sent them a screenshot that was circulating around online. They saw it. They're like, that's that dummy page that we had when we originally had started the website. That was not anything that we even went through in the final renditions of the website. We went through and took the um, initial initial draft of the website that the designer had put together. It had all of this wording on there. And we went through page by page and adjusted it to make sure that was in line what the Academy actually was. That page we didn't do because we were not using that page. So I don't know if that explains it to you all. Let me go back to, um, okay, so Livy, this is a valid question. So if the text was a mistake, why are you saying that you've eliminated the 3% fee? So it wasn't actually a mistake and you're just backtracking now. So the 3% fee, how we had it set up was it was a commission-based program. So we had a 10% just flat fee and we had an additional bonus of a 3%. What they called it was a bonus fee. It was a one-time thing. It didn't go down multiple layers. And so that's where I was mistaken was that I was thinking if this isn't an MLM because we weren't going down multiple layers. For example, if someone had a for someone and they got that extra 3% one-time fee for that or not fee bonus, but it doesn't, it stops there. It's not like that person under them then sells something and it keeps going up the ladder. That's not how it was set up at all. However, us even having that secondary reversion thing, even though my intention was not in any way to be some sort of MLM process, I realized that that's how that is. Is this, Even though it wasn't multiple layers, it was one and that still is aligning with an MLM and that's not what I wanted at all. So as soon as I was realizing that that was how that was coming across, I cut it right away because that's not a model that I want to follow. So yes, we did have a secondary reversion. It was not multiple levels, but we've already cut that. And what I did is just cut that secondary piece and increase the original um, commission for the influencer. So instead of 10%, now I told the team, let's do 15% just one time. Now, when influencers go to sign up or content creators sign up for the academy, they are not directed to that page at all. We had a, my affiliate manager would reach out to them directly and set them up, sells up in another portal. And I'll show you. So one thing I do want to mention is I do like that she did mention that um, to become licensed. And like I said before, in most states, you do have to be licensed, if not all states. But then that to go to college, like going to cosmetology school, especially in the US, like it's, it's focused on hair and that's it. And there it's like a week maybe of like makeup education. If that I personally never went, don't cancel me. I did, you know, I did do makeup professionally for like just freelance for special events and, you know, bridesmaids and I did some weddings and stuff like that. But, um, I am not licensed an enthusiast, very clean, all of that, you know, but yeah, it's, I don't know, it, it's just interesting how, like, I, I appreciate that she did bring that up because yes, that's true, like, that does suck. And for a lot of people, like, it's not worth it to, like, go through cosmetology school when you just want to do makeup, you don't want to do hair. But then also, she's saying that she wants her course to be, like, accredited, which that's wonderful and that's really, like, that's really cool. I do like that idea. Um, but right now, it's not accredited. So, like, why, for, like, the certification one, I don't think it should be that expensive. You know, if you see the value in it, then wonderful. But I do think it's just like super overpriced and she did address that and she said that she was going to talk with her team about making it more affordable so good for her uh, if there are any other updates or things that pop up here and there I will definitely let you know but that is it so far of course all of this is my own opinion I got the ick from it I did not like that and yeah that's it so that's all for the update goodbye so
yeah. Anyways, hope y'all have a great rest of your day night weekend whenever you're watching this. Good December. It's December 1st, the good December. I hope it's a little bit chilly where you are. It's been in like the 50s to like the 70s in Tampa. It's amazing. Wiggum loves it. And I love it, honestly. So yeah, you're spicy. You are. Your butt looks good. If you are mad about something on the internet, hey, babe, it's not real life. Go touch grass. You're okay. Don't let it affect you. I mean, don't be like in an echo chamber or delusional, but like, come on take a break, touch grass, take a nap. The holidays can be a stressful time. So just remember you are valuable. Your feelings are valid. Take a breath, take a second. It's actually okay to be like selfish and preserve your sanity and your mental health. Did I already say your butt looks good? I'm pretty sure I did. Make sure you subscribe, comment down below. If you don't have anything to comment, just say Wiggum is my Lord and savior or something like that. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.